let's see, five thousand seven hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Fuck. <laughs> uh. Meet Tonal, the smartest home gym. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a bit. Uh, I literally did nothing last month. Well, actually, things changed. Um, new job, but working <laughs> a lot of hours. It's it's a nice job, I'll tell you that. Um, you know, it was actually my plan last year to do this, but it, it, it took a little while, you know, since everything shut down. Um, I even had a whole plan to, um, you know, do this ridiculous dirty, you know, dirty bulk bloat max thing last year as well. Which that that's going to be a whole nother video. Uh, this video is going to be about home equipment. Uh, looking on Facebook and you know now watching TV, I've been seeing more ads with um, home equipment. You know, there's like the mirror, there's the Peloton, there's the Tonal, um, there's there's a few other things too. I there's so many different things now, and most of them seem to be low low profile, but very very expensive. And even requiring, um, at least some of them, you know, a subscription to actually even use properly or use all the, you know, features that you'd want to use it for. Otherwise, it might become almost, you know, useless. <laughs> uh, so, but this video is going to be about the tonal. Um, one of my clients actually brought it up and he's like, oh, I'm thinking about getting this. And, uh, like, it, it seems like an okay idea. I don't think it's like a good idea like you know i understand like if you don't have absolutely any time to go anywhere you know i i this client i go to his place and train him but like he has an apartment gym but unfortunately the apartment gym is closed so you know i get it but convincing him to buy like you know other equipment you know it'd be cheaper and i think it would be more beneficial but i get it you know the tonal is low profile um let me bring up the web page for it so if you guys don't know this, this is like what it looks like. It hangs on the wall. Um, you're not, you're not actually allowed to install it yourself. You know, you have to have, um, their team come out and install it for you. So here's, here's the thing. So full, full disclosure, I don't own the tonal. Okay. So I'm just going to go off of things I've seen and things that I've read. Okay. So just, just throwing that out there. So. I, th I think I have uh, a decent amount of knowledge for this, but I don't think it's going to be 100% <clears throat> perfect. Um, so just just a heads up if something is wrong. Okay, sure. So let's let's go into this. I know a lot of you are actually very interested in the price, and I'm just going to go right into the price because the, the thing is, for for these devices. Let's say like from a selling point of view is easier to show um, the equipment, you know, try and sell the value off it and then show them the price. But, you know, people don't want to see the or the marketers don't want you to see the price right off the back because then there's no value because you're only looking at the price. So we're going to go ahead and click this. Make sure I'm on the right page to check out. So I just put in a random Seattle address. This is not my address. This is, well, it's not really random. It's it's like some gym in West Seattle. <laughs> so there's multiple ways you can pay for this. Um, you have you can pay with your card, okay, or you can, uh, you know, pay with finance, okay. Now, obviously, paying up front with your card is always going to be the better option. You know, it's going to be the cheapest. But so looking at this, the price for this is with the smart accessories is three thousand four hundred and ninety dollars. OK, you get a three year limited warranty um, right here. It's a membership to that. You have to be locked into forty nine dollars per month uh, membership to unlimited content and intelligence for the entire household. Charges begin upon installation with a 12-month commitment. So you're locked into an agreement for 
12 months. Now, I don't know what the cancellation terms are for this. Um, I was trying to find it, but it's probably something ridiculous where you have to pay like some expensive buyout fee, which is typically how these go, which I don't know about that. Like you're, you're already paying so much for this. I don't see why you'd have to pay a buyout fee or be locked into a 12 month uh, subscription. It's, I, it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, let's see. So you got the base price, well, with the smart accessories, the $3,490. Um, delivery and installation. I think this is the same anywhere. I put in multiple different addresses and I keep getting $250. And then tax, you know, obviously this is gonna be based on where you're living. $377.74, so this is the total. now. This does not include the price of the membership, okay? So membership, it's 49, you know, times, it's like 10% tax here. So $4.9 plus 49 times 12. So it's like $646 plus 4,117. So this, you're paying um, about 4,000, seven hundred and you know sixty three dollars um that's <laughs> that's a lot now you could you could honestly go to any gym and you could actually go to a fairly expensive gym and be there for a good amount of time and get access to way more equipment okay um i i feel like this is pretty limited honestly like there's there's some pretty cool features okay you know but let's Let's look at the other pricing options before we get into features. Uh, whoops, what did I just do? Hey, stop. So pay over time, financing, you know, as low as 199 right here, 12, 18, or 24 months with a two year subscription, okay? So this actually factors into the uh, subscription. So you're paying the sus uh, subscription up front. This makes it five thousand one hundred and forty nine dollars so you're paying pretty much four hundred more dollars um than paying it up front okay now let's take a look at for 36 months with the three-year subscription or three-year membership it's it's essentially a paid in full membership so you you pay for it and you, you have it for three years it's not a monthly thing <clears throat> Um, let's see, $5,737. Fuck. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's pretty expensive. I, I don't know if I could justify that price. You could literally go to any gym. Let's say, uh, the membership average is like $60 per month. I, I know it's sounds pretty high, but like a lot of places, at least nice places are $60 per month. Um, and let's just say, you know, with, let's factor in the initiation fee, this would come to about, you know, $720 per year. And when I mean factor in the initiation fee, I mean like factor it into like the monthly price. Okay. So you could probably get a gym membership for like six and a half, maybe seven years for the price of the tonal. But, you know, it, it's, it's okay if you have absolutely no time whatsoever um you don't have a gym anywhere by you anywhere next to you like within i don't know 25 30 miles i get it okay um or you're just deathly afraid to i don't know go to the gym because you're afraid of germs <laughs> which you know i understand you know the whole pandemic whatever but i just i don't know it's just so tough to like justify this and so you could, you could get a killer home setup for like $5,000. Um, let's see, there's specs somewhere. I have them, I think written down somewhere, but it's a 24 inch screen. It's a 1080p touch screen with a 60 refresh, 60 Hertz refresh rate, you know, built in Wi-Fi with no support for, you know, ethernet. So you, it has to be Wi-Fi. Um, I couldn't really find how much this thing weighs. I was assuming it was gonna be right here, but I guess not. Um, 
<clears throat> yeah, I can't find it. But, you know, it sports up to 100 pounds of digital weight. Whatever, whatever that means. You know, and I, th I think when they mean by digital weight, I think it's just more like um, for the machine, it's it's constantly time under tension the whole time, uh, which you can kind of already get with normal pulleys. Um, now, here's here's the thing about the shipping. Okay, so I've been on Facebook reading some comments and also like just overall reviews, and it seems like they do have a problem with like shipping these or keeping them in stock. I'm not sure if it's like so many people ordering them or it could be where it's like they're just building them as people um you know order them which could be possible but like it takes it takes a long time for them to get the machine um it could be because maybe it's coming from china which is most likely the case um people are waiting from eight to twelve weeks you know to get this machine um and you know you have to schedule time for people to come over and uh, install it and so it's, it's really, um, honestly, I feel like it's a hassle to really get everything started here. Um, you're waiting so long after paying, you know, $5,000 for this. And I'm assuming the reason you can't install it yourself is because, you know, it's a liability thing or people will just try and install a device on areas that, you know, don't have studs. Because, you know, that's what people do. They'll install it in weird areas where they shouldn't. It'll fall off. they will hurt somebody or break and then of course tonal will face like some crazy crazy lawsuit i'm assuming they have like a liability form somewhere um i mean like it would it would make sense if they do uh, oh hi there how can we help today well you can lower the price that would be great <laughs> now the tonal has exercises and you know workouts that you can go through um, like, so it's got like different coaches going through the workouts with you, but they're all, it's all like pre, pre-recorded. It's, it, none of it's live. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any live workouts for this. I think they might have like a thing eventually where, you know, you could probably schedule time and have like live coaches and trainers, but I, I feel like that's a whole different ball game. And then you'll have people, you know, complaining about, oh, well, I want to train with so-and-so at this time, or there's no time at like 4 a.m. or some something ridiculous. But, you know, they'll help you guide you through the workout, help you set up the workout, uh, give you tips, cues for warm-ups and cool-downs. But it's more like they're giving the cues, but they can't see you, you know, so it's just kind of going with it. So keep in mind, there's no live workouts or trainers. Um, Pre-recorded videos, you just select the tonal pulleys. Um, I think they're like, you can hook them up like via Bluetooth. They're like somewhere here. <clears throat> My voice sounds a little weird. It's because I'm sick. Probably because I've been working too much. <laughs> um, but no, these... The, the pulleys and the smart handles that you can like move around to like positions you need them for working out. Um, the smart handles have buttons on them where you can just click to increase or decrease the weight without having to, you know, set the handles down, which, which is cool. You know, I think it's pretty cool because then you're not spending a lot of time, you know, what you would do as in like re-rack or, you know, pulling pen and putting that you can literally just click a button and be like, oh, I'm going to decrease the weight or increase the weight. So there's, there's some pretty cool features. I'm not saying the whole thing is like completely bad. You know, obviously I'd rather go to a gym, which is, you know, what I do. Um, and yeah, <laughs> um, the tunnel has a thing called like intelligence features, you know, so actually I think I just had it up. Yeah, so let's see. Intelligence features. So it can set the weight for you after going through like a full body assessment. So you don't really have too much to, uh, 
I guess you won't have much guesswork because you already have a set weight for what you did for your last workout or for your assessment. So, you know, I, I find that pretty cool. Um, so obviously it's going to track progress. Um, and then as you go on with your workouts, which I'm assuming based on how quickly you complete reps or your tempo, the tonal will actually increase the weight for you over time. But it also works as a spotter. So, you know, uh, it can detect when you start to fail on a lift, you know, or you get exhausted. And so it'll decrease the weight for you so you can complete the exercise without failing. I, I think that's pretty cool, honestly, you know, so the tonal is always technically adapting the weight as you lift. Uh, the tonal will also let you know, based on sensors and cameras, if you're not maximizing your range of motion, if your pace is too fast or slow, it can like, you know, help you, um, correct that. At least I'm pretty sure. At least I, I think I saw a claim for that somewhere. Um, so it seems like a pretty good device uh, for someone that's not really familiar with lifting or they don't really care about like huge strength gains. You know, they're not like a power lifter is not going to use this. Okay. Um, I feel like most people will probably get strong, like stronger than the machine and will have to eventually just go get a gym membership or if they have the space, some more home equipment, adjustable dumbbells, you know, barbells, uh, power rack, you know, so I feel like it's, it's, it's okay. Um, but you're probably going to get stronger than the machine pretty fast. Okay. Um, and I think like with the smart accessories, there's like a flat bench that comes with it. I'm not sure why, because it's not really a smart accessory. It's literally a flat bench. Um, but they don't, it's not, it's, it doesn't adjust. You can't do like an incline with it. So I think it's kind of weird because once again, you're paying so much money for this and it's just not, I don't know. I, I feel like there's things that they could have done to really maximize this, you know? So now here's something that I found. Okay. Now you're wondering, okay. So about the uh, subscription probably too, right? So you're paying for the subscription. It's a 12 month subscription at least, or if you're doing the pay in full and it's, you know, X amount. But so what happens if you don't pay, you know, you, you like the tonal, you don't want to pay the $50 per month anymore, right? So what are you going to lose? Okay. Or what are you going to keep? What are you going to lose? Let's see. I actually found the list here. No one wants to talk about it for some reason online, but I found it. It's right here. So let's see. Now, if you get rid of your subscription, okay. You know, you have the option to discontinue your membership after your first 12 months. However, you'll lose access to Tonal's innovative features listed above. Okay. You, know, you can still work out on your Tonal with basic free lift and use smart accessories. Tonal will keep track of your rep count and workout time. You have three basic movements to choose from handlebar, handlebar and rope moves. So you're pretty much using a pulley machine at this point. Okay. It, it's just a pulley machine. So here's the thing, unlimited household accounts per device. So that means that only one profile per account, um, would be, which, which would be fine if only one person is using the device to begin with, you know, there's hundreds of on-demand workouts supposedly on here. Now this seems a bit out there because you can go on YouTube and get workouts for free. You know? Yeah. I won't, you won't get, you know, all the tonal features, but to remove this seems a bit, bit odd. You know, it's like, maybe there's an app you can use on there. Like maybe you can just like go to YouTube and I'm not sure. I think it's just like their database. Um, data measuring and progress tracking. So you can pretty much say goodbye to measuring your progress. I guess, right? Um, dynamic weight mode. So pretty much what happens is that the weight won't automatically adjust during the workout, like spotter mode or eccentric mode. Uh, so that's like one of the coolest features. Um, but you just pretty much lose it. Personalized weight suggestions. Now I think this is based on your full body assessment and pretty much picks the weight that thinks it's best for you. So that just means you won't get this. So when you load up your workout, you know, you're going to do, let's say like a shoulder press or, um, a lateral raise, you know, it's just not going to set it for you. That's literally all it is. 
Uh, workout logs to see historical performance data. Now, this seems that it's like tied to the other one, so pretty much you won't be able to track anything unless you note it down on a computer or paper or some note on your phone. Um, so you just can't track stuff. Custom workout builder. <sighs> this, this is just becoming crazy, man. So you won't be able to design your own workouts, which is even more lame because not only can you not design your workouts, you, you know, you can only use um, workout videos from coaches. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Library of free lift moves. Um, so you can't look up exercises on top of that. Is that is that what it means? It says I can click it. Let's see if I click it. Is that it? Oh, those are the top moves. You can... Now, I'm assuming you can look at more than this, but... So... <laughs> Gosh, so why is this? It says library of free lift moves, right? Oh, I know, I know what it means, but still, um, you can't. It's like you can't look up exercises. You know, it's it's like a beginner would have to be forced to pay for a subscription because they won't know any better. Um, tonal music stations. You know, this this one's fair, I guess. So no no real comment for this because most people are probably gonna listen music off their. Um, Phone anyways, Pandora, Spotify, etc. Uh, heart rate tracking with Bluetooth, heart rate monitors, you know, whatever hooks up to your watch or, you know, Apple Watch, Galaxy Watch. I don't think this is a problem, honestly. I feel like unless you want the machine to record your heart rate, um, you know, I use like a biking app called Zwift for my um, Bowflex bike. And like it it can record heart rate and like um, track it over time. So like at the end of a workout, they'll be like, oh, so you completed X amount of miles. This is what your average heart rate was. And I can see like my how my heart rate fluctuated throughout the whole whole workout. I'm assuming this is probably the same, same way, like how it works the same way. Um, so anyways, those are the innovative features that you won't have if you discontinue your tonal membership. You know, you can still work out on your tonal um, you'll still keep track of reps and your workout time, but it won't track anything like, you know, actually like, like a log of it. Um, you'll only have access to, you know, using the pulleys essentially. <laughs> so I don't know this, this to me just doesn't, this doesn't really make too much sense. Honestly, um, I, I can see where it would make sense. But it's it's still a big stretch, you know. If if you're deathly afraid of going to the gym, um, I'm not really going at it. But anyways, yeah. If you're deathly afraid of going to the gym, or you have no time whatsoever, no time whatsoever. I mean, I know how people are. You, if if you want to do something, you're gonna find time. Okay. Don't don't BS me. Um, or unless you're deathly afraid of going to the gym, you know, some people are. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, ongoing pandemic, I get it. Uh, so, you know, honestly, to me, it's not worth it. You know, if you don't have a membership, I feel like even with the membership, I wouldn't purchase this. Um, you're you're almost spending, or depending on if you finance or not, um, you know, I'm not gonna drop five grand on it. I would finance, but like you still end up paying more <laughs> in the long run to begin with. Um, you'll be spending almost, 5,000 or more on this device when you could go get a gym membership for $60 a month for like almost seven years or or if you go to planet fitness uh, Which is probably still better than you know the tunnel then you can go to planet fitness for like 20 years You know 20 years you go to planet fitness. That's that's crazy. You get access to tanning beds massage chairs um, Yeah, it's like the hydro beds the red light therapy um, I don't know but that's, that's me, you, you do you, right? You know, like the, the tonal has some cool features to it, like I said, you know, and I feel like if they kept the price the same for the device and maybe did like a $20 per month membership, then I think maybe it would be a little bit more worth it. 
I personally still wouldn't purchase it, but you know, when you're already paying so much money and you're paying the price of a normal gym membership on top of that, I don't know, that's, that's, that's a bit much, you know? Um, so let's, let's go over that again. Well, I just want to show you guys that price again. Where is it? Well, we'll just do the normal paid in full, whatever. So four thousand one hundred and seventeen dollars. Um, throwing the membership, you know, that's like forty-seven hundred dollars right there. Now you can't forget about the twelve-month subscription. Um, well, actually, yeah, that's that's what it is. Throw it in there. Then it's about forty-seven hundred dollars after everything's you know said and done. Um, so I feel like for that price, you can just get home equipment right this this is what i would recommend home equipment like adjustable dumbbells they don't take too much space okay uh stationary bike you know bands you can even get like a like a barbell that's not even that heavy hell there's like uh there's this thing called less mills that have like um they're lighter barbells um and they're there's like rubber i think i think it's rubber like on the ends of them so then like you can like store it easily and not like damage like the floor or if you like put it up against the wall it won't really damage the wall unless unless you're like smacking the wall then that's a different story <laughs> but you you can get a pretty good setup for five thousand dollars and not pay a monthly membership okay you know there are things that are low profile that you can get um that's not ridiculous but i just can't believe how much they take away from the tonal when you don't have a membership you know even after paying you know so much money you still don't get that much once you take away the uh, membership you take away all the cool features with it um you know but at the end of the day this is this is your decision okay you know it's gonna be up to you you know if you want to spend the money on this device there's there's absolutely no hate you know people are gonna still love this okay Someone's gonna buy it and they're gonna love it and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's gonna work for them Okay, I'm not gonna say, you know, that person's stupid or so-and-so is stupid because they bought this device um, I would feel stupid for myself if I bought it, <laughs> but I'm not gonna call other people stupid. Okay um, There's there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, you know, it's it's still pretty cool with all of its features You know, it's still gonna help people get in shape and build muscle but like I said, I personally, you know, wouldn't buy it. Uh, that's me. Um, this video is getting pretty long. I didn't really realize it's going to be like this. But, you know, thanks for watching my video. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time. Um, my next video will probably be about being coming, uh, becoming obese and bloat maxing and getting to 300 pounds. Maybe. Just kidding. Maybe. Well, anyways, uh, peace out.